So we're going to start today. Cue the music. <laughs> da, la, la, la. That's bad music. So we're not going to use that music, but today we're going to do something super, super important. And because I'm no longer 25, and I know you think I am, right? I do. <laughs> she doesn't think I'm 25. One of the things that I saw that was so, so important is to start to stretch. And I'm not just talking because I started cramping up at a tough mutter. It's because when I started carrying my five-year-old son at the time up the stairs, my knees hurt. That's a problem. You know when you've got that big old knot in your back, how miserable that is? Miserable. Right, you're miserable at time if I don't give the massage. <laughs> with that. She thinks she has to get a massage every week. But I'm telling you guys, what we're going to show you today is a way to work all of your body for you to be able to almost, and I, I don't even kid around, it's almost as a spiritual experience once you get used to it. But I ask you to go easy on yourself because if you overdo it, and do I ever overdo anything? Never. <laughs> I overdo just about everything. The first six weeks that I did this, I've never experienced so much pain, guys, ever. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through a total body stretch and you're going to get to see her do it, not me. Maybe I'm a little bit more flexible than you. Not much. The thing <laughs> is, is I'm still not flexible, but I can tell you I'm way better and my pain is gone. That's what this is all about, guys. So take it serious. Do this same thing two to three times per week. You don't have to be a yogi to make it happen, but I'm telling you, this is going to improve your life in ways you'd never imagined, right? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. So Angela is going to start with the forearm stretch. And before you start, we recommend that you set your phone or your watch to one minute. And if you want to, you can just hit reset as you move to the next move. Make sure that you don't overstretch anything as you're first doing this. You'll see that the forearms will enable your arms to move better. If you type a lot, this will relieve a bunch of the tension. As she moves into her shoulders, you're going to see that this is going to give you more range of motion and help you to be able to do just about everything as the shoulders are so, so important from that. From here, she's gonna to start to stretch her midsection. Her midsection is going to enable you to alleviate back pain. It's gonna enable you to be more mobile and to be able to move as you age. And guess what? We're all aging. From here, she goes into her hip flexors. The hip flexors, if you sit down all day, often are so tight that you may experience some pain. So do not overstretch this. As she moves into the pigeon, the pigeon is so important. IT bands can cause knee pain. They can cause, they can start to even spasm. As you start to do this, you'll see that it'll start to alleviate that, but do not overdo it. As she moves into her legs, make sure that you understand how important this is. Most people's ankles, their hips, their knees, everything is tight. So as she moves down from her hips, down to her toes, and even into her Achilles tendon, she's doing this with ease and not overdoing it. As she progresses through this, she can go deeper and deeper. But if you're a novice, do not overdo it. Guys, this is going to be something that is going to make you feel better. It's going to help you heal faster, and it's going to give you more mobility two to three times per week. Nice work, Ange.